Welcome to Hangar Talk, a video series of flying tips, comments, and anecdotes that promote airmanship, the artistry of flying with stick and rudder. If you want to become a great flyer, a good stick, there are only two fundamental skills to master. Do not stall and control yaw. Hanger Talk is committed to teaching those fundamentals and to flying for fun, flying with style, and flying safely. During takeoff and landing rolls, any turn, any deviation from straight is an acceleration that can quickly develop into an uncontrollable force. In a crosswind, constant force from the wind acts to move and then accelerate the tail. The wind's turning force against the airplane is increasing dramatically. If the pilot reacts slowly, the turning force will become greater than the available controlling force from the rudder. The airplane goes out of control, perhaps into the infamous ground loop. This all too common scenario is explained by Newton's third law and brings clarity to the action, fly a tail dragger until it is tied down. This is an illustration of Newton's force equation. It is the big gorilla that always rides with the tailwheel pilot. The gorilla analogy, perhaps an oversimplification, of the force equation will help you understand Newton's third law. Consider the example of a light wind, the gorilla, blowing across the runway as a tailwheel airplane rolls along the center line. The wind applies a force of 10 pounds against the vertical stabilizer and the airplane responds with a slight turn into the wind. It might be a wide runway, and the airplane is going slowly, so I guess all is okay. Not necessarily. Not if the turning moment is not controlled. The airplane did not simply turn towards the wind. A tailwheel airplane's center of mass is behind the gear. Therefore, as the gear tracks into a turn, the mass of the airplane tries to go straight. It moves towards the outside of the turn, away from the track of the wheels. The mass will continue moving in that direction as the crosswind continues to push the airplane into a turn. The mass of the airplane is now accelerating. The gorilla is growing bigger and bigger. According to Newton's force equation, the force turning the airplane equals the mass of the airplane, let's say 2,000 pounds, multiplied by the acceleration. Therefore, the turning force is rapidly increasing. The gorilla will get really big very fast. The pilot has only a rudder to counter this gorilla-like turning force, and the rudder force is limited by the size of the rudder. To make matters worse, the rudder force decreases rapidly as the airplane slows. At some point, the gorilla becomes bigger than the pilot's corrective rudder force the mass of the airplane accelerates uncontrollably and the airplane spins out. It weather vanes into the wind. The airplane rolls on one wheel and a wing and propeller contact the ground. That event is called a ground loop. Newton's force equation instructs pilots to respect any force that makes an airplane turn such a force can become one badass big gorilla. 
If you enjoyed the show, please tell your friends. You can enjoy monthly postings of Hangar Talk on my website, dylanaviation.com. Please consider my books and DVDs for yourself, and especially as a gift for low time or student pilots. These items are available on my website or directly from Amazon.com. Thank you for watching. Until next time, this is Jim also reminding you, fly high, have fun, and keep the blue on top.